स्क्रीन शेयर हो रहा है सम कॉमन कार्गो हजार यस सर हाँ तो अब जो है सेशन फिफ्थ का दूसरा टॉपिक है व्हाट आर द कॉमन कार्गो हजार सर दे तो इसमें आपको मेंशन किया हुआ है कार्गो शिफ्ट है कार्गो फॉलिंग फ्रॉम द हाइट है डस्ट फ्रॉम द वर्किंग कार्गो कार्गो लुकफिकेशन स्ट्रक्चरल डैमेज ऑक्सीजन डिप्लेशन कोरोजन कॉन्टामिनेशन एंड द फायर दीज आर द कॉमन कार्गो हजार फिर अगेन ये आपको रिपीट किया गया है वही मेंटेनेंस इशू है देन द कार्गो डैमेज इज देयर डैमेज इन द ट्रांजिट डैमेज इन द हैंडलिंग डैमेज फ्रॉम द चैफिंग डैमेज फ्रॉम द क्रसिंग डैमेज फ्रॉम द कंटामिनेशन डैमेज बाय द मोस्चर डैमेज फ्रॉम द शिफ्टिंग दीज आर द कॉमन कार्गो हजार दी आर द कॉमन कार्गो हजार द मेरी इंडस्ट्री इज एन एशियन लिंक इन द इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड मेरी इंडस्ट्री इज एन एसेंशियल लिंक इन द इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड विदाउट द मेरी इंडस्ट्री इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड कैन नॉट बी नेवर विथ हिंग विथ ओशन गोइंग वेसिल्स रिप्रेजेंटिंग द मोस्ट इफिशियंट ऑफ द वर्ली मैथड ऑफ द ट्रांसपोर्टिंग लार्ज वॉल्यूम ऑफ द बेसिक कॉमोडिटी वेन यू थिंक ऑफ द ट्रांसपोर्टिंग ऑफ द लार्ज वॉल्यूम ऑफ द बेसिक कॉमोडिटी ऑफ द फिनिश प्रोडक्ट देन द वनली ऑप्शन इज द मेरी इंडस्ट्री bulk carriers play a major role in the global economy the cost carry by the logistics as i have already discussed is too much in the case of the global economy when you when you are thinking about the shipment of the goods from the one country to the another country then the only the bulk carriers are there marine industry is there there hence the demands for the shipping carriers and the cargo carriers are more in the european country and the dry bulk cargo is cover a wide range of the products most commonly handled by the dry bulk material are the coal cement grain sulfur fertilizer iron ore and the sugar these are the common bulk material for the marine industry from the one country to another country it is for the global economy it is the only viable solution these products are generally not packaged separately but transported in the large quantity in the hold of a ship many dull uh, dry bulk cargo are also classified as the dangerous goods requiring special attention during the loading transportation and discharging the carriage of the solid bulk cargo poses potential hazards and thus require efficient and safe storage and the shipment hence the these hazards are mentioned here what are the common hazards of the bulk cargo on the board ships are mentioned here cargo shift number 1 is the cargo shift cargo shift has always remained as one of the greatest danger on bulk carriers the problem is greater for the ship carrying grain cargo grain shuttles by about 2% of its volume because of this settling small void spaces exist on the top of the grain surfaces these void spaces permit to the grain to the shift the free flowing characteristics of the grain reduces the stability of the any of the ship carrying it trimming is undertaken to reduce the danger of the cargo shifting rolling can also be cause shifting of cargo from one side to the other and reduce her positive stability resulting in the vessel to capsize hence the cargo shift is held is happening generally when the grains are carried out in the cargo they are uh, shifted having the void spaces shifted from the stability due to the stability cargo shift is there when the grains are carried out then the cargo shift is there cargo falling from the height cargo like iron ore quartz and steel scraps are high density cargo there is a possibility of the cargo falling from height during the cargo operation if you are carrying the iron ore quartz and steel scraps then this case will be happen cargo may either fall from the conveyor belt 
of the ship loader or from the discharging grave on the deck of the ship people working on the deck can get injured badly if hit by the sizzle lumps of the bulk cargo it can be as bad as death cargo operation should always be monitored by the responsible officers and care should be taken that no unwanted personnel are present on the working area of the deck number 3 dust from the working cargo dust is one of the most common hazards in the bulk carriers many bulk cargoes are dusty by nature dust particles are small enough to be the inhaled and if inhaled cargo have a dis disastrous effects on the health anyone working on the deck can be exposed to the high levels of the dust dust can cause sneezing and irritation of the eye where possible it is always best to avoid exposure to cargo dust however if exposure cannot be avoided protective face mask should be used for handling of the dust protective mask should be face mask should be used and the those involved in the cargo operation and need to be present on the deck when a dusty cargo is being loaded or discharged dust is the one of the problem of the common cargo hazards when uh, using any of the this type of the materials with having the dust in the cargo then the dust is the one of the common hazards for there cargo liquefaction liquefaction is a phenomena in which solid bulk cargo as abruptly transferred from a solid dry state to the almost fluid state many common bulk cargo such as iron ore fines nickel ore and various mineral concentrates are examples of a mineral that may liquefy hence the liquefaction occurs as a result of the compaction of the cargo when a uh, uh, you compact the dj nickel ore iron ore fines they become liquefied which results from the engine vibration ship's motion or rolling or wave impact if the compaction is there due to the engine vibration ship motion and rolling and the wave impact then the cargo get compacted and the liquefaction of the these material of the nickel ore and the iron ore fines have been taken place this is the cargo liquefaction liquefaction result in a flow state to develop this permits the cargo to slide and shift in one direction thus creating free surface defect and reducing the thereby reducing the stability stability of the ship liquefaction is uh, the liquid material uh, get in the flow state and moves here and there which gives the reducing the stability of the ship shipper's declaration should be thoroughly examined by the chief officer before loading any bulk cargo he must take sure that the moisture content of the cargo is to be loaded should not exceed the transportable moisture to avoid liquefaction during the voyage during the voyage to avoid the liquefaction this is the cargo liquefaction number 5 structural damage is there heavy cargo place high loads on the structure and a structure floor is therefore trouble high density cargo occupy a small area for the large bed that is the a low storage factor it is therefore important that the tank top of sufficient strength to carry heavy cargo like iron ore nickel ore and bauxite the low density of the tank top should never be exceeded tank top strength is provided in the ship's stability booklet exceeding the maximum permissible cargo lead load any of the loads of the ship will be over stressing of a local structure overloading will induce greater stresses in the double bottom transverse bulkheads hatch combings hatch covers main fans and associate brackets of the individual cargo loads then number 6 oxygen depletion 
सी ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ द बल्क कार्बोज ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिक नेचर सच एज ए वुड पेपर पल्प एंड एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोडक्ट मे रिजल्ट इन द रेपिड एंड सीफर ऑक्सीजन डिप्लेसन वुड पेपर पल्प एंड एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोडक्ट एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोडक्ट दीज आर द सीफर ऑक्सीजन डिप्लेसन एंड फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड द सेपरेटली हार्मलेस कार्गो मे क्रिएट पोटेंशियली लाइफ थ्रेटनिंग कंडीशन द कार्गो होल्स एंड द कम्युनिकेटिंग स्पेस इन द बल्क एरियर आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द कॉन्फाइंड स्पेसेस वेयर सच टॉक्सिक एटमोस्फेयर में डेवलप सेबरल फेटल एक्सीडेंट कैन अकर वेन पीपुल इंटर अनवेंटिलेटेड स्पेसेस ऑक्सीजन डिप्लेटिंग टेकिंग प्लेस इफ द कोल इज देयर डायरेक्ट रिड्यूस्ड आयरन इज देयर स्पंज आयरन इज देयर सल्फर सल्फाइड कॉन्सेंट्रेट इज देयर एमोनियम नाइट्राइड बेस्ड फर्टिलाइजर आर देयर लिंटेड कॉटन सीड्स इज देयर दीज आर द ऑक्सीजन डिप्लेशन मटीरियल वेन इट दीज आर पुट इन दी ट्रांसपोर्टेशन दीज डिप्लीट द ऑक्सीजन various gases products are formed including carbon monoxide carbon dioxide hydrogen sulfide and hydrocarbon entry of the personnel into closed spaces should be permitted emergency entry may be undertaken with some cargo also use of oxygen within the cargo spaces these are the oxygen depletions are there then corrosion some cargoes like coal and sulfur can cause severe damage to the corrosion coal and sulfur these are the severe uh, damage to the corrosion cargo of the sulfur in bulk are normally subjected to the exposed storage and are thus subjected to the inclement weather when sulfur is loaded any retained free water filters to the bottom of the hold during the voyage this leads to the release of the sulfuric acid resulting in the corrosion of the ship's holds pond coal which is reclaimed after having this type of the coal may be liable to react with the water and produce acid which may corrode parts of the ship number 8 contamination preparation of the cargo holds for the next intended carriage is a critical element of the bulk carrier uh, operation a lack of the proper preparation can lead to the claims related to the cargo quantity such as a contamination water ingresses or the cargo losses residues and dust prepares cargo can contaminate the presently loaded bulk cargo and can cause cargo stains are not acceptable cement when contaminated by residue of the prepares cargo reduces the binding capacity cement these type of the materials when carried out then contamination have been taken place unrefined sugar if stored near above dry refined sugar drying syrup water ingresses may result from the leaking hatch covers leaking manhole lids of the inadequate monitoring cargo like salt can absorb moisture hence the contamination happens these are the regions for the contamination number 9 is the fire bulk cargoes are deemed to present a great deal of the fire hazard many bulk cargoes have a tendency to heat due to the oxidation process taking place during the voyage common cargoes like coal sulfur cotton fish meal are liable to spontaneous heating coal also emits methane which is a flammable gas during the voyage when mixed with air it can form an explosive mixture dust created by the certain cargo may constitute an explosion hazard sulfur dust can readily ignite causing an explosion fire precaution should be strictly observed on the bulk carriers the ship as carrier is obliged to care for the cargo in expert manner to ensure it is discharged in the same state in which it is loaded working on the water in any capacity can bring with a number of risk and hazard risk the jones act as a designed to help prevent and mitigate 
बट नो मैटर हाउ मेनी लीगल प्रिकॉशन मे बी इन प्लेस एक्सीडेंट कैन स्टिल हैपन वाइल वर्किंग ऑन द सी एंड कार्गो शिप सारे कॉमन सोर्स ऑफ दीज एक्सीडेंट दीज आर दॉमन कार्गो हजार again cargo ship we have already discussed these are the most of the dangerous when grains food products even the raw construction materials are used then the ship is taken place falling cargo when the heavy weights heavy weights are used crane loading the cargo during the transit then the turbulent sea this one probably sounds a little obvious but while turbulence can affect any vessel in the navigation it presents a special challenge and hazards to cargo ships fierce currents violent storms and strange changes in the ocean topography can take any vessel in the navigation unstable these are the hazards for the cargo turbulent sea and if you combine these circumstances with the other risk present on cargo ships you have got a receipt for trouble proper proper safety steps are not taken maintenance issue boats have a number of the maintenance steps that need to be taken in the general and cargo ships are no exception the nature of the goods that cargo ships can carry chemicals raw material food products can cause increased structural issue they should you from the previous cargo or chemical can cause corrosion and chemical hazards with crucial systems on the boat like bilge systems and the plumbing preventive measures need to be in the place to ensure the vessel is in top shape to ensure their cargo cargo damages cargo handlers must know how to prevent cargo damage and what measures to take if they are encounter cargo already damaged damage may occur in transit and in handling or or chafing or crushing contamination moisture or shifting these are the type the types of the damage that may occur in the cargo during the transit during the handling from chafing crushing contamination moisture or shifting damage in the transit frequently car cargo is damaged in transit before it arrives at the piers cargo handlers should inspect the cargo carefully as it arrives if personnel have any doubt about the package being damaged internally they should anot documents accordingly place them if during loading operations cargo handlers find packages with insufficient packaging or packages that show so signs of wear and tear or attempted pilfrage cargo handlers should never re repackage security cargo until the security officer has made an investigation and has been permission damage in the handling damage in the handling is caused chiefly by the exposure to the inclement weather conditions careless and the use of the improper gear use of the uh, improper gear will cause the damage in the handling hence the uh, Say practices about the lifting gears have been have been already discussed. To protect cargo from the weather, personnel should cover hatch opening and hatch tents. The tents will also provide protection for the crew working in the hatch. However, it is unless for personnel to protect the hatch and the cargo if they allow cargo to remain on there there unsuitable or badly adjusted slings. may dislocate or break packages these are the cargo handlers are there then damage by the chafing chafing is the wear of the cargo caused by friction against other objectives chafing usually results from the improper choking blocking or brushing of the cargo these are the then damage from the crashing crushed cases and contaminants usually are the result of the careless in the slinging improper dunaging pressure about about the stowing heavy cargo on on top of the fragile cargo proper stowage soaring choking up help reduce the damage to cargo from the crushing 
study of the packaging have resulted in the reinforcement and general improvement of the package damage from the contamination in planning the loading of the ship personnel should give careful consideration resulting cargo to avoid the contamination damage damage from the moisture damage caused by moisture is called the sludge damage condensed moisture may corrode metal and mildew as textiles these are the cargo hazards which were taking place 